good morning all so let's start with the course it's the first lecture and as i told you in my previous introductory lecture that i'll start with unit 5 and this unit 5 is about the number system number system logic gate and boolean algebra so these logic gates and boolean algebra i'll discuss later on i'll start with this number system first now what do you mean by number system let's define this number what do you mean by a number first of all a number is nothing it is simply a combination of digits i can say a number is a combination of digits what do i mean by this rather i can say it is a meaningful combination of digits Suppose I write a particular number here. Suppose I say I write a 643. 643. And I ask you, what is this number? Without wasting time, you will say it is 643. Now, suppose I write this 346. This is 346. I use another number here. Suppose I say 4. And uh, let's take this uh, 463. This is 400. 63 so if you see that i have used three digits here three four and six and if i arrange this in a different fashion the value of number the value of this number changes now so what is a number system that what is the system or what is an arrangement what is the system to arrange the digits so that i can write a particular number that is called a number system now before I come to the number system, one more term that we'll study in this number system is called the radix or base of a number system. What do you mean by radix or base? Radix or base, one and the same thing. Radix or base are nothing. It is simply, we say that it is the number of digits available. It is the number of digits available in a number system is called the radix or the base of that particular number system for example from the number system that we know is called decimal number system and we know that we have digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 these 10 digits with the help of these 10 digits, you can write the smallest number or the biggest number, of course, with the help of a decimal. So, if I have to write the smallest number or the biggest number, I make use of these 10 digits. So, this is the radix or the base of this particular number system. So, the total number of digits. Why? Because the total number of digits here are 10. So let's come to the classification of these number systems or before I come to the classification of these number systems, you have this number for example. Suppose I have written here 643. What does 643 means actually? Suppose 643 and let's take one more number here. Suppose I say 52. Suppose I say this is a number and the base of this number or the radix of this number is 10 means total 10 digits are available this is the number that we already know right from our childhood now how i write this number actually it is 643 means it is 600 and 43 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 Zero 02 this is the number in base 10 actually or if i represent this i can say it is 6 into 100 or 6 into 10 to the power 2 plus 4 into 10 to the power 1 plus 3 into 1 means 3 into 10 to the power 0 and this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 and these are simply called the weights or I can say, you know that this is called the unit part, this is called the 10th part, this is called the 100th part, then this is 10th part, 100th part and so on of a number that we already know. So if you look at this, this is a unit part means its weight is unity, means it weights, its weight, if I write in terms of its base, its weight is 10 to the power 1. The weight of this is 10 to the power 
2 the weight of this is 10 to the power 3 so see this 6 10, so, so, sorry it will be 10 to the power 0 this is 10 to the power 1 and this is 10 to the power 2 unity means 10 to the power 0 unit 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 and 10 to the power 2 so this 6 has a weight of 10 to the power 2 4 has a weight of 10 to the power 1 this 3 has a weight of 10 to the power 0 of course this 5 has a weight of 10 to the power minus 1 and this is has a weight of 10 to the power minus 2 so this is the number in base 10 or I can say that if I have to represent any number in base 10, I express this, it is called as a sum of weights. A sum of weights. See, the 6 is having a weight of 10 to the power 2. Suppose I say that I provide you this much rupees. It is only 5 rupees. Now, suppose I say it is 0, it is 50 rupees. Now one more zero, it is 500 rupees. With the help of these zeros, what is happening? Initially it was 5, then 50, then 500. The weight of this 5 is changing. If I make it here, the weight of this 5 is 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, and 10 to the power 3 here. So the weight of this changing here, the weight of this 6. So it is any number if I have to represent in base 10 or in this number system, we represent it as a sum of its weights. Now let's come to the classification of number system that we'll study. Classification of this number system. Four types of number system that we are going to study. First is called the decimal number system. Decimal number system means the number system which we already know and it has base 10. It has base 10 means that total 10 digits are available in this particular number system and the 10 digits that are available are you know it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Next type of number system that we'll study is a binary number system. A binary number system has base 2. Base 2 means total 2 digits are available and the digits which are available are 0 and 1. This binary number does not understand any figure like this or any number as 2. This is wrong in binary. If I have to write the smallest number or the biggest number in binary, it is with the help of 0 and 1 only I can write. The third type of number system that we'll discuss is octal number system. Octal number system having base 8 and the digits which are available in this type of number system is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If I have to write 89, I cannot write 89 in base 8 like this. This is 89 in base 10 because this number system understands this these two digits 8 and 9. This octal number system, it does not understand either this 8 or this 9. I'll have to write 89 in a different way. How we write it that we'll discuss in later on. But the point is that in octal number system, the total number of digits which are available are from 0 to 7 only. Next type of number system that we'll study is hexadecimal number system. It is called hexadecimal number system and the base of this number system is 16. And the digits which are available in this type of number system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as it is and next are A, us right here. It is A, B, C, D, E and F. This F here. And this A corresponds to, if I say that this A this A corresponds to 10 in decimal. This B corresponds to 11 in decimal. This corresponds to 12. This is 13. This is 14. And this is this F corresponds to 15. So if I, have, I, I can write in decimal up to 15 with the help of single digit. This is the advantage of this. On the other hand, if I talk about the decimal number system, I can the largest 
सिंगल डिजिट नंबर आई इन डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम आई कैन यूज ओनली अप टू नाइन इफ आई हैव टू राइट अ नंबर ग्रेटर देन नाइन इन डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम आई नीड मोर देन वन डिजिट सपोज आई टू राइट 23, आई नीड टू एंड थ्री बट हियर अप टू डेसिमल 15, आई कैन राइट ओनली एफ रिमेंबर दैट दीज ए बी सी डी ई एफ दे आर नॉट एल्फाबेट्स दे आर डिजिट्स so this is about the number system what do you mean by a number what do you mean by radix or base of a number radix or base is nothing it is simply the total number of digits which are available in a particular number system and then you have classification apart from these i can have a user defined number system also suppose i say that i define a number system n a number i can say a number n with base suppose 6 and i say that the digits which are available are simply 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 so there can be any user defined number system also in problems you get a problem like this in your examination so this all about this number system let's come to the conversion of this number systems now how to convert from one base to another base so initially i'll discuss that how to convert any number into a decimal number now how to convert any number into a decimal number system as i have already discussed here that if this is a number what i have done is actually i have converted the decimal to decimal the result of this number is finally if i solve this this comes out to be finally this number only 643.52 in base 10 now in order to write any number in base 10 i express this as a sum of its weights where weights are nothing it is in terms of its base here base to the power 0 base to the power 1 base to the power 2 and so on now every number will have a fractional part and a integer part suppose i say that i have a number 652.43 so this is called the integer part and this is called the fractional part these are the digits in the integer part and these are the digits in the fractional part now suppose i have a number suppose i say that i have a number with base b and this number has some integer part suppose i say that the integer part is it has i not i1 i2 i3 these are the integer digits and so on and uh, dot means decimal point here and it has some fractional part suppose i say f1 fractional digit f1 this is f2 f3 and so on this is a number with base b for example this is a number with base b just see here this i0 means with respect to this problem or this uh, example this i0 is 2 here this i1 is 5 this i2 is 6 similarly this fractional part f1 this digit is 4 and this is 3 and so on there can be any any number and say this the base of this is b so if i have to convert this into base 10 if i have to convert this number into base 10 or into decimal number system so if you see the weights on this it will have a weight of b to the power 0 this will have a weight weight of b to the power 1 this will have a weight of b to the power 2 this will have a weight of b to the power 3 and so on similarly this will have a weight of b to the power minus 1 b to the power minus 2 b to the power minus 3 as i have done in the previous case see this 10 to the power 0 base was 10 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 in spite of 10 i have generalized this as base b so it will be like this here now if i write the value of this so i can say that this number is equal to i3 into b to the power 3 plus i2 into b to the power 2 plus i1 b to the power 1 plus i0 i0 b to the power 0 plus so on on this side f1 b to the power minus 1 plus f2 b to the power minus 2 plus f3 into b to the power minus 3 and so on this is the corresponding number in base 10 so in general i can say that if i have to convert if i treat this as an article 
if I have to convert any number n with base b or n1 with base b to another number n2 to base 10. That is if I have to convert any base into decimal number, how I proceed? I express this express as sum of its weights. Sum of its weights. It is sum of weights only. I put the weights here multiplied by this and I have done the summation of this. So if I have to convert any number with any base into a decimal number, all I have to do, I have to express it as a sum of its weights. So remember this point, sum of its weights. Let's take an example here. Suppose I say, let's take an example. Let's take a problem for it. I say convert a binary number 1101.11 in base 2 and suppose I say that what is the corresponding number in base 10. So what I have to do, I have to convert this into base 10. So what I simply do, I express this in terms of weights. So I simply put a weight on this base 2. So it is 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1. This will have weight of 2 to the power 2 and this will have weight of 2 to the power 3. Similarly, this 1 will have a weight of 2 to the power minus 1 and this will have a weight of 2 weight. 2 to the power minus 2 and now I write this. This is 1 into 2 to the power 3. This one has a weight 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. Look at this. Plus, look at the fractional part. 1 into 2 to the power minus 1. 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 and the resultant of this the result of this will be the corresponding number in base 10. I have done the calculation. So this comes out to be 13.75 in base 10. Another problem. Suppose I say, let's take an octal number that I have a number 743.65. This is octal number, base 8. And I say that what is the corresponding number in base 10. Again, this is called simply in your in many books, it is octal to decimal. I will not treat it in this way, subheadings. So weight is here how much? It will be 8 to, the power, 8 to the power 0. This will have a weight of 8 to the power 1. This will have a weight of 8 to the power 2. Similarly, this will have a weight of 8 to the power minus 1 and this will have a weight of 8 to the power minus 2. And now I solve this. This will be 7 into 8 to the power minus 2 plus 4 into, eight, not minus 2, sorry, plus 2 plus 4 into 8 to the power 1 plus 3 into 8 to the power 0 plus 6 into 8 power minus 1 plus 5 into 8 power minus 2. This is the corresponding number in base 10 and if I solve it out, this will be 483.828 this is the corresponding number in base 10 this is my answer here let's take another problem i say convert let's take apart from hexadecimal I'll convert later on let's take suppose i have a number 563.42 now i take a random base. Suppose I say this is base 7. Base 7 means I consider a number which has digit from 0 to 6. And I say what is the corresponding number in base 10. Again, what I do? I put the weights on this. It will have a weight of 7 to the power 0, 7 to the power 1 and 7 to the power 2. And this will have a weight of 7 to the power minus 1 and 7 to the power minus 2. So this will be 5 into 7 square plus 6 into 7 plus 3 into 7 to the power 0 plus 4 into 7 to the power minus 1 plus 2 into 7 to the power minus 2. This is the corresponding number in base 10 and if I solve it out this comes out to be 290.612. I have already done this calculations in order to save the time. So this is the corresponding number in base 10. So this is all about for the time being 
about the number system and the conversion of any base to base 10 that is how to convert binary to decimal octal to decimal or I'll see hexadecimal to decimal or any other base to decimal the simple way is to express this number as a sum of its weights that is the bullet point so I'll stop it here and I'll continue with this in the next lecture thank you